close the door because I have two people playing computer games right outside of there. But hey, here I am. I have a bit of an unboxing and a share today. Unfortunately, I can't give you the full um, flyer look at some of the products that I'm going to share with you today uh, because I'm having some Wi-Fi issues here at home. I don't know whether it's the rain or what's going on, uh, but I will talk you through um, what's coming and hopefully in my next video I'll be able to show you the flyer. So I do have Miss Louise here on the ground, so if you hear her bell, you know what's going on. I do have a small box of things to unbox with you. Now, these are brand new. Sorry, I'm just going to grab my chair so I can... I have two chairs in my office. So I'm just going to pop my box on the chair because I wasn't that organised. Um, so I'm going to unbox those with you. And I do have the Global Hope Box Paper Pumpkin Kit that I thought... I would unbox and play with you and show you. I'm not too bad, Carol. Thank you for asking. Got to have my cuddles with Franklin yesterday, which was lovely. And for those of you who haven't been here before, my name is Ellen Woodbridge. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. I'm on the Central Coast, which is just north of Sydney. Hey, Glenna. Um, so I'm just north of Sydney and I come here, card make, paper craft, show you things I have ordered, which is what I'm doing today. And I'm having a bit of a first play. So sorry, I am just going to get up my second screen. Hello, Miss Marjean. Has everyone had a nice couple of days? Because this was a bit unexpected. I kind of expected to get this order next week. So it's um, an order of some things from the mini catalog. Uh, a few things that I missed or decided I needed from the mini catalog, unfortunately. Oh no, and some celebration item or a celebration item as well. So let's look me up here and see if I can't see everyone's comments on my computer. Thanks all eight of you for coming in so far. That's awesome. Don't forget if you are like me doing these unboxing videos, give me a thumbs up because I'll do them if you're happy. I won't do every time I order because sometimes I just add on an order add on something to a customer order but um, I know in the past you guys have loved me unboxing new things and showing you what I get so here we go there is my video live woohoo it is on mute so I won't get everyone's comments um so what I think I'm going to do I'm going to flick you guys around I'm going to share my video out to a few places so people know I'm live and where to find me and I'll keep chatting with you Hi, Glenda. My name, I know, Glenda and Glenna, like really, lots of people with the same name. Whoop. Good morning, Brenton. Well, good afternoon, really. Just gone 12. Whoops. My stand is way too far over. Look at that. So, almost a good spot great spot i'll go turn off my light and i shall be back out please missy good girl okay door is shut so we don't need to hear video games happening so who else good morning I don't, oh, it feels like morning because I did have a bit of a sleep in Brenton. But um, yeah, I have one child who's gone out driving with a friend, which is fantastic. So gone for a nice drive, get more of those L hours up. 
and um, I've got oh I'm playing um, some computer games so I don't even know what they're playing it mustn't be too bad because they're not they're going ah and they're not trying to kill each other um, so yeah which is good I like that I like that a lot okay so almost there thank you guys for your um, patience in doing this so what we have going on we do have a pre-release which is coming out it's called all together now now this suite um, of products is just a release it's not going well the main product some of the products are going into the catalog but the stamp set and the dies and papers aren't now i haven't purchased those uh, but i have purchased some stamp and blends um, which is very exciting and I think I just closed down the flyer that I had up. So it's um, just going to, it's all about being together. So lots of hands, every act of kindness changes the world. We'll get through this together. You matter to me. Love changes everything. And do you know, I just had the best idea ever and to get up this flyer on my ipad because hey that's what having multiple devices is all about because if you can't print it out on paper surely i can pop it up here on my ipad look at me up there for thinking today or at least i'm trying to be and i don't have my login here uh, my, there we go and my fingerprint should get me in I do have my iPad just here so why aren't you working for me oh, life and technology is not playing well for me today Hello Shelly, hello Mary, how are you? Hello Miss Cindy, hello Bev. Yes, I understand that, thank you Bev. Thank you, thank you. I just, I unfortunately had to leave Bev. Ah, yes. Okay, see, my iPad isn't playing. I wasn't having, I was having issues and it says it cannot connect to the server. So, I can't show you the flyer, but we have some amazing black and white papers. Uh, let me grab this up here. So we have some great black and white papers with like people holding hands like this, doing, um, I don't know if they're signs like, you know, doing the love, holding hands. It's awesome. Some a great here for you, die you matter, a great love heart. Um, a sun ray going that you can pop around the hands and we have an amazing set of 10 skin tone blends now these will be available to customers as of uh, two four six eight ten yes so these will be available to customers as of the and let me just double check this the february the first and um these blends will go into the brand new annual catalog that is coming in may um but the other products the stamp set dies and papers will be available february 1st through to the 2nd of may and then these set of blends will carry over so I love these blends I don't have too many people stamp sets okay how are you feel oh hang on I've missed something Glenna what have I missed no I haven't missed anything all good 
all good. Oh, Cindy, you just ordered them. It's such a great perk of being a demonstrator. And during celebration, which is right now, is a great time to join. And you can get this all together suite as part of your starter kit so you can get the 10 blends you can get you can pick and choose what you want so you can buy just individual items or you can get the whole suite let me double check the pricing on that for the suite uh, how much is the suite everyone Yes, you could get the whole suite as part of your starter kit, get free shipping, and then part of celebration, you can get two free stamp sets on top of that, plus a few more products, because the whole suite is $184, and just these blends by themselves, and yes, you can either buy them as pairs, and I call them, they're pairs, but they're not a light and dark pair okay i will warn you they're not designed to be used as pairs they are standalone colors um, but they are packaged and sold in pairs but not light and dark matching pairs so we've got a light a medium light medium medium deep and deep are the are the pairings um, but if you buy all 10 they're 78 75 or they are the normal um, 1575 per pairing okay I do have a little bit of whisper white here so just our normal whisper white which works so beautifully with our blends and I'm going to grab a pen sadly my beautiful Stampin' Up! pen died but I do have I did have a glitter one but this one has sequins in it I got it from uh, one of my team members and I love it yes I did Bev they actually arrived on Friday and today is Sunday so I'm going to start with the light set and it does say on the bag light so as I open these, I do have some other products, but I really did want to start with these blends. I've also got a paper pumpkin kit, uh, which is the new Hope Box, which I'm also going to have a play with. So these are numbered SU1000, 2000, and so on and so forth. So what I'm literally... Oh, New blends and me and my hands don't work well. Okay. So I'm just going to do a bit of a scribble. And that is SU100, 1000, sorry. SU1000. Because with new colours, and this is 900. Is that 1000? Yes, SU 1000. Okay, so this is SU 900. And these are both out of the same pack. So this one is definitely a, um, a cool pink. This one is definitely a warm skin tone pink. Oh, you've ordered the collection. Great. Oh, no problems at all, Cindy. Um, I am actually being crafting up a storm. I am um, partially through a card at the moment. So I'm just going to go back to this flyer and make sure, yes, medium light is the next bundle because I kind of want to do them in order. Okay. Come out. And then these are going to go into my blends stamp and storage because the stamp and storage is uh, buildable. So that's 800, that's 700. So I am literally just doing them in the packs they come with. Oh, so this has got an orange undertone and this is the 800. That's got quite a orange undertone which is good this is really covering skin tones but 
did I say 800? That's how good my morning is. Just waking up. Um, oh, no problems. No problems, Glenna. Um, I am looking forward to using these for my critters, especially these three packs. I have already used them for some critters and they've worked really well. So this is a real peachy pink undertone. This is 700. So then that way I've just got my cheat sheet here. I can go, oh, I want that peachy or I want that whatever. So now I'm looking for the medium. This is the medium pack and then that's medium deep and that's deep. So I'm not going to colour with these. I'm literally just swatching them for my own purposes. Like when I've got in colours and that recently, I actually haven't swatched them um, because I know from the ink colour what colour they are. So I'm going to go 600 next. And this looks, looks like it might be a true brown. And I think I did use this colour on one of my critters. Because I did colour a critter last night. Uh, one of the deers, one of the new deers from the Forest Friends stamp set. So the deer from this one. That is really a doe because I think does definitely have the um, markings on their backs. Oh, sorry, that's SU 500. 500. And then this must be SU 600. Oh, this is definitely more of a tan. They maybe went in the other order, but it doesn't matter. As long as I get them on the swatch, I'm not really um, bothered with how they go. They just need to have a swatch of colour and then I'm all good to go. Okay, so now we're going, this is medium, this is the medium deep set. Look, I think you need all of them because the colours are so varied. And, I don't know, just nature things, bark, trees, things like that. It's nice to have a collection of these kinds of colours. And this SU-1000 is the perfect cheek colour and the perfect inside of ears colour for critters. So this is 300, this is 400. So, I don't know, we'll go 300 first. So are you liking the fact that we can have these tones? So really, I like this SU-300. SU 400 and I have just the right amount. Ah, possibly I could have done this the other way as well. You just get, so these, the 600 and the 400 would go quite nicely for like shading and shadows in a face. Um, you can, and then the 500 and the 300 and the 900 and the 700. So you can kind of see um, where you would go for shading. Um, just doing that kind of thing. And then we have the deep set. Is this something you guys would purchase for your um, blends collection? Because I've been using blends quite a bit this morning. So I'm going to go with the SU200 first. Oh, that is a luscious, luscious brown. And then this is the darkest of the lot. This is SU200. 
100. Oh, true chocolate. So, SU200 and SU100. And then I will move directly on with the other products and we will finish with the Paper Pumpkin Hope Kit. So that is a closer look at all 10 colours. So this is light, this is light medium, this is medium, medium deep, and then the deep. So they, I have done them in their pairs. Hello, Becky. Yes, these are colours from Stampin' Up! They will be released to customers on the 2nd of February. It is, you can get them as a set of 10 or you can buy them in um, pairs. So the pairs aren't necessarily designed to go with each other, but they've split them into pairs just to make it um, easier for people to buy. So they've split it into light light medium 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 deep and deep so next i got a few bits and bobs i recently used the brush the brushed brass butterflies on a customer order on customer cards and i went through a lot of them and i was kind of having conniptions that i needed to buy another set so then i could do more things with it i'm just trying to get that brass in the light for you there you go there's the brass and they are gorgeous and you cannot say brushed brass butterflies quickly so yes that is those i also replenished my blue adhesive back gems because i've literally used them all with my uh, wise men cards that I did uh, during December and November. So they are still in the annual catalogue and I like them because they're blue and you've got your light and your dark blue so you get lots in there. So I decided to replenish those. I do as well, Margie. Okay, what else did I get? I got the striped and splatters 3d embossing folders now these are specifically designed to go in the mini uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine and they're lovely i cannot wait to use them because the splatter and the striped texture are just they're just classic. They will go with anything. A great if you are starting out and you don't know what embossing folders to get. These are a great thing. This almost looks like uh, water on like glass. So it like yeah, you could do so many things with them. So I think I need to just get down a piece of cardstock. For you to see them better on so this is magenta madness cardstock if anyone's wondering i've just grabbed out the first piece i saw that's the stripe so they're nice distressed stripes pop those off to the side i don't think i need that piece anymore what else is in my box i did get the satin shimmer ribbon and this is in soft succulent so i'm kind of a sucker for soft succulent and this is what i have got now let's see this tape is pretty well covering the whole width so i'm just trying to catch the edge of the plastic covering this is just trying to haha ha, got it got it got it pull that off oh my god that is just so soft so luscious I'm just seeing there doesn't appear to be your right side and the wrong side with this satin 
maybe one side is slightly less shimmery like has so this side is what i would call the more shiny side but this side is just as nice so i think tying a bow i wouldn't be bothered which side shows where with other ribbons i possibly am a little more bothered now um you a lot of you know when i store my ribbon i do store them with the pin this ribbon i will not be storing with the pin because the pin hole will not recover in satin ribbons so that won't be happening now the other thing i got this is the abstract beauty ephemera pack now i already have the note cards and envelopes and i have the four by six papers so if you want to see those unboxings you can go back and see my last unboxing video where i unboxed those the ribbon is divine yes would be artsy with flowers that's exactly right oh you miss them yes and do you know what i missed talking about them and bev actually said ellen you miss them in your catalog walkthrough they're at the top it's on a double page so if this is a double page they're sitting right here but if you have a look in the catalog um the catalogue overview oh no the catalogue at a glance at the back of the catalogue they are in there unfortunately um unfortunately embossing folders inherently are hard to um photograph and show in catalogues and sometimes they're missed so that gives you an excuse to put through another order margie I'm glad I can increase your wish list and enable you. So we've got the hearts, the labels, the tabs, speech bubbles, stars and hearts. These are great for sprinkly bits, uh, for cards. We have a couple of frames and tags, flowers, leaves, flowers. Yep, just one sheet of all. And then we have our gold print of vellum so we have arrows leaves so these are all leaves the stars the speech bubbles with um the three hearts and then we have a dipped flagged edge label so they are gorgeous nice little ephemera pack now these um white printed ones are definitely on cardstock so they are nice and heavy, uh, which is good, which is good. I like that. So that is going to go in with my ephemera paper. I might even do that. Now, not my ephemera paper, sorry. My, okay, my abstract beauty. I'm going to keep, or, and I've already got my um, cards and envelopes in there, and I've also got my four by six paper in there so that is all sitting in there and because they all go together I am just and I'm going to put this end in first I know you're going to fit I'm just going to slide that in there this is just a pencil case from um my local $2 shop, you can get them at Reject Shop, you can get them Office Works, Kmart in Australia, but also just my local dollar store has them um, as well. So if you don't have a Kmart or a um, Office Works that you can go to, um, I can get them at or reject shop. These ones are the reject shop ones. Um, you can just check out your local one. Ah, awesome, Cindy. Good idea. Good idea. Now, I also got some of another pack of the pearlescent paper. I'll grab it out. I'm not going to take it out. I also was able to nab myself some basic white paper, which is already away. So I'm hoping, yes, you can see that pearlescent paper. So I got another pack of that, two sheets in the pack, and I just wanted more than two sheets because I'm also running a paper share. And as part of that um, paper share, 
I'm losing bits of my paper. So it's just like, ah, I need it. Um, and because I ordered all of those things and my paper pumpkin kits, I earned this celebration stamp set. So fantastic stamp set. This is one of our $180 celebration items. So for each $180 increment, you can get this. If this isn't your jam, and that's totally okay, um, the $90 increment products are fantastic. Some of them aren't quite available yet, but there are items that are currently available. Oh, the mother, mother of pearl paper. Sorry, I spoke out of turn. It's mother of pearl paper. Thank you, Brenton. But it is gorgeous. I don't even know what I... I called it pearlescent paper. And the pearlescent paper is actually totally different. That is the mother of pearl paper that goes with the, um, I wanted to say the stalk, but it's not the stalk. What's it called? It goes with the crane, the um, crane set. I, I'm going to look it up now, you know. I am absolutely going to look it up. It's the crane. I want to call it a stalk. It is the Symbols of Fortune. So page 23, you can find the Mother of Pearl paper. It is a great stamp set. For a free stamp set, it's awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Now, this is what we in Australia have been waiting for since October. So this was the August Paper Pumpkin Kit for North America. And as many of you know, globally, we have had paper pumpkin kits become available for us. And our CEO and our CEO and founder, oh no, our former, she is the founder and board chair, sorry, Sarah is the CEO, but she's the founder and board chair. Shelly actually designed this kit or designed it with our amazing um, concept artists. So, yes, and I love that it's a specialty box. The specialty boxes are amazing. So she, she did this and I do have an extra kit so if you are local to me on the Central Coast of New South Wales and go, Ellen, I must have this kit, I can grab this kit. Yes, Brenton, thank you. My brain isn't apparently switched on for a Sunday today. Okay, get some light on this. Oh my God, we get a whole roll of ribbon. No way. I didn't know this. See, I try, if something's coming out for us, I try not a whole roll of ribbon and it's Blackberry Bliss. Oh my God. Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Spot. I am going to need that paper again to show you the stamp set. So always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Just a note of hope, hope where this is, uh, where there is faith, miracles happen. Uh, the, the, these is faith. These is faith. Hmm. There. Oh, there. Where there, ah, uh, there is faith. Where there is hope, there is faith. It's okay. We've got our gorgeous butterfly. We've got dotage and we've got our flower as well. Love the fonts on this. So we'll pop that there. It's okay. Don't mind me. You get the real me here. Okay. So we have how to make a hope box. So if you want to afterwards, you can make um, a hope box with our limited edition box. And there is um, some information how to assemble that box and some examples of what you can do and a QR code um, for a video on how Shelly puts that together. I love that it's always wrapped in tissue paper. I love it. And I never wanna I never wanna rip or ruin the tissue paper. Okay, so it comes in a nice package set. Oh my god, look at those sequins. 
iridescent sequins. So I take this out, then I very carefully fold this all back down so it looks pretty and then I can use it on a gift or something else later. Yes, I am that person. Hello, Monica. Oh, Monica, I'm so sorry. I did say YouTube. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mon. But, Mon, the good thing is there's a replay. Okay, Mon, I showed the 10 blends colours that are available to demonstrators now or anyone who wants to join my Wicker Woodies team. And um, I showed those. And I showed a few other bits and bobs, but the Hope paper, so this is wow, this is the Hope box and August 2021. Very pretty in colour. So I'm going to pop the box. Mm. Oh, David's about to come in and interrupt us. Maybe I can hear him at the door. David? Could you come and do a system restart on my iPad, please? That's okay. I think it's my iPad that's the issue. So if I ask him to do it while I'm live, then I can sort it out. Say hello to everyone online. Hello, everyone. What am I doing? Um, can you do a proper button restart on that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just um, take it away and do it, and then just make sure it connects to the internet. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, because it's not connecting to the internet, so it needs a proper... Yeah. Thank you, my love. Okay, awesome. We've got that sorted. You know, devices just decide they need a real proper restart. And with my hands being the way they are, I can't do said proper restart. Oh, that just arrived at your house. Yay. Oh, he says hi back. He'll say hi back to everyone. Oh, okay. Are you watching double screen, Cindy? So these are the instructions, or as I like to call them, destructions um, to go. Oh, full colour. Tells us what to use, how to use it, where to put our um, adhesive, which is great. Now, oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, that's to cover the box. And the box will be lovely for a gift. So not only to use as a hope box, to use it for someone. So they are our projects. I'll make all three of those with you today. That is our, um, our box decoration, which is included as well. Okay. I don't know why I flipped this the wrong way, but you know, hey-ho. Okay, we have our little mini glue dots, which will I have a little bag for Ivy, my granddaughter at the moment. So we have our Stampin' Dimensionals. We have, oh, they're gorgeous. Iridescent, oh my word. These are the best envelopes we have ever had. I haven't even looked at all of them and they're the best. They're not printed on the inside, but they're printed on the outside. I wonder if in the US you guys had to pay, oh no, you shouldn't have to pay extra postage for mail art. Having it on this corner though, I don't know how the machines would handle writing postcodes or zip codes there. So that may need to be hand cancelled. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the colours in this set. I'm going to have a look at what colours they are. This, I think, colour-wise, has to be my favourite paper pumpkin I've seen. So, we have all the flags. We have, oh, we just have some plain paper. We have, oh, Miss Heidi's going to get some of these. My friend Heidi's, who's a linguist. So, tomorrow and hope, yes. Did you want to put yourself on mute briefly and give me your password? Um, no, because I can't. Oh, maybe I can. Hold on, guys. I'm not going to give you my password. Uh, can I? No, I don't think I can on YouTube. 
No, you can't. No, I can't on a YouTube live. Because okay, if I guess, oh, I guess once more, but if I guess two times. How more, many? How many is it? I've only tried. You only get three tries. No, no. How many? How many numbers six. is it? It's six. Mm -hmm. So, think about putting two digits before your password, and uh, you've got yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at me being cryptic. Look at. Me. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Snazzy, yes, it is a bit snazzy, Delinda. Oh, look at this gorgeous watercolor printed pieces. We're stamping directly on top of those. <laughs> Let's hope we get the stamping right. We've got our labels, we have more card front panels. Oh, wow, they're so pretty! They're so pretty. Okay, card bases. So we have our nice pink. Oh, we have two of these larger die cut pieces. We have our belly band for our box. So we're going to pop that in the box. Then we have these card fronts. We have more labels. Mm -hmm. So this one looks like it might be for the card front as well so I think I'm going to put that in the box always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring just going to pop that in the box for the moment please tell me you didn't lock it no oh good yeah. thank you it's very much now. I'll deal with that later yep. thank you right. okay so I've got the big hope tags there just some plain blue card fronts and we have the statement butterfly and these are the butterflies we will use on other projects in the card so I'm going to gather together things to go with this card base so as I put a few things back I can go these go with this and I'll need this and oh no I won't I won't need that at all I will need this though and I will need these okay I think I'm good just pop these things to the side I will put the envelopes in the bottom of the box but they will definitely be used with these cards and I will need this. So I'm only making one. You make three cards and I did say I was going to have a look at the coordinating colours. Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Bumblebee, Melamambo, Petal Pink, Pool Party and Poppy Parade. That is a great colour palette. That's an awesome colour palette. Okay. Let's look at our destructions for the first card. Oh, it happens to be the first card in here as well. Okay, so I need uh, muscles, 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 muscles. Right. Now, I am just going to do, I'm just going to run my finger along this stamp before I take it off, just so it's preconditioned and I can work with it straight up. Okay, just pull it off slowly, even though you want to be more careful with stamps that have a few more holes in it, because you... Do not want to rip it. Pop it on the stamp there. I'm going to grab one of these. And I am going to leave my stamp and spot for Miss Ivy. And I am going to grab my Blackberry Bliss. And I do need to have a drink of water, so just bear with me. Right, lovely. Oh, no problems. Thanks, Glenna. Bye. Oh, Glenna was in here. Oh, I 
think, let's see how this is. I may actually be using, oh no, that looks good. I am going to do a test stamp though, guys, because we all know what will happen if I don't do a test stamp. Beautiful-ish. It isn't quite as solid as what I would love it to be, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm centering it. And then I'm covering up the hoping tomorrow. Okay. Just giving it some pressure. Letting that ink transfer. That's not too bad. And I'm going to grab my chamois. And I am going to clean that off straight away now blackberry bliss will absolutely stain these stamps and that is a really good sign of a good stamp the fact that we didn't have to do much to it to get it work we didn't get any of the funny um we didn't get very many of the funny pulling um, that is actually really, really good. So I want to hope and I want to tomorrow. And I'm just going to use dimensionals on those. And the two butterflies. I need two of these babies. So this card, or these cards in general, by the looks of them, are super duper easy. Okay, so I'm going to take those. Just going to pop it over here. Okay, destructions can just go over there for a second while I just apply glue and dimensionals to these. So, dimensionals first, just because I have them here and I don't particularly want to well i'm going to need to open that bag aren't i so let's just use the dimensionals in the kit and because no one and i really mean no one needs to see me open a ziploc bag with my teeth and rip it i am just going to cut open the ziploc bag because that's how i work okay take them out Right. Now, popping out the first one is always hard. It looks like I'm being really brutal, but I just need to get out this first dimensional and then oh, take a deep breath. There we go. So, one dimensional on my friend there. That one did not want to do what it was told. And now I just grab the rest in a row because my dear friend Nell has made me very anal about getting them off in a row over the years hurts her eyes i laugh at her you know one of those friends you've had for 30 years and she goes no i've got ocd do it like this and it's like oh my god you're funny girl you are funny so i can take these away as well and i can take two card bases away so i may need this sheet I won't need those. So just corral them together in my box and let's grab, grab, grab. 
this and my bin is just here. I love that you could stamp this sentiment again and just stamp it and heat emboss it to get exactly the same effect. But Stampin' Up! have given it to us, which is even better. So we just go wham bam, thank you for some quick cards. Okay, hope. Why must you have st stuck to my finger, Mr. Hope? Okay. Try again. And hope. And they don't need to be straight. They do not need to be perfect. Butterflies. At, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, top and bottom for butterflies. And I am just going to cheat big time. And I am going to just pop. And of course, I'm going to have a glue goober, which I'm just going to use my fingers. There we go. I can see the tip of the glue now. Hello, Miss Linda. How are you? Sorry, didn't see you. Okay, so we're gonna go one down here, one up there. Put my glue back in the holder, and I am going to do a bit of flutter surgery. So I just mold them so they flutter just a bit. I know they're going to drop down in the oh geez, in the um in the whatchamacallit but this is good now it doesn't matter if they go off the edge or anything because we've got the card mat then the card base now this also tells me that I'm putting two sequins here and two sequins there. And see how I feel about sequins that I've now lost. Um, I may use less. I may use more. I'm not sure. I definitely want one there. Definitely want one there. I, mm, do you know what? Oh, I can't change the placement of that now. Now I think I'm going to put them up here. They give you suggestions on where they think may be good but or work best. But, you know, you can go rogue. You can follow the instructions. Whatever works for you. So I've got two. I need a third one. I need a fifth one rather. We cannot have just four. We need some odd numbers here, guys. Need some odd numbers. Mm, uh, but where? I'm just thinking down there. So you've got your nice diagonal of bits and bobs. Pop this back on. Right. Oh, good on you for passing it on. It's a beautiful set. I'm glad I can show you now. Because I'm sure being an August kid, it is well gone in the US. And I think because it's such a beautiful kit, it would have been extremely popular. So this is $37 to purchase. I don't think I even said that. 
um, and they are available in my online store. There is a link in the description box right now for my online store, for joining, for finding me on Facebook where I do the rest of my live videos. Um, you can find that all over there. That is card number one done. Simple, hey? Very, very simple. Although I am thinking I may want to do a very quick, um, a very quick reink of my blackberry bliss. Right, uh, blackberry bliss, blackberry bliss. Okay. I'm gonna try and be quick, but. I wasn't happy with how that stamped. So just to make things nice and easy, I'm just going to go drop, 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 drop. Yes, I do need to squeeze it harder than most because I am me. If you squeeze it that fast, you are going to get oodles and oodles and oodles out. Me, not so much. Okay. Just use, this is my ink bone folder, which I just use to massage it in. That's all in. Hopefully that will be enough for our next stamping. Grab a baby wipe. Wipe it off. And then that is ready for another another um another inking so next card let's grab the rest of our things so next card we're going to use a strip of these we're going to use the pink splattered dotage background and we are going to use one of these sheets so these ones can go back in This can go on the top. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh, I also need that sheet of... I don't even know where I put them in the end. I need the sheet of die cuts. There you go, sheet of die cuts. And this has thoroughly stuck... So what do we want to do? Just a note of hope on the circle, three butterflies and pop the strips on without dimensional. So the only thing that's dimensional is that. And there are no sequins on this. Oh, yes, there are just a scattering. OK, so just a note of hope. I'm going to try and grab this off. Um, uh, Linda, I, my normal schedule for YouTube or my normal video schedule is one video on YouTube and one video on Facebook, on my Facebook business page. That's much better. Um, on my Facebook business page per week, I have been doing just a few extra, um, here and there. Um, over here uh, but yes I will be doing one on YouTube one on Facebook the Facebook live will does get uploaded um, here to YouTube so you get to see the replay but if you want to see it live you have to join me over on um, Facebook okay so that stamp is now also clean. I'm going to pop this out. Just pop that ink pad a little bit out of the way. Put that back.
Okay, those strips are done in recycling. Just going to pop the card base up here. And do we have a way this goes? I'm just going to look at the cheat sheet because it looks really nice the way we are doing this. So why not look at our cheat sheet and go for it. They use the glue dots. I'm not using the glue dots and that is okay. So that one uh, is a bit of glue there, a bit of glue on my finger. What's new in my life? So next, just make them a little further down. We're using our um, gingamish piece. Actually going to just overlap that a bit. We're not going to make them one high, one low, anything like that. Like anything particular, but I am going to put this last piece on first and then our final piece over the top. So this has the blue once again at the bottom. Just like that. We are overlapping a little bit. And then this last piece in the middle, and that is that piece done. So you could definitely um, do these pieces using other techniques. You could do an inked background and then doodle um, with our, our white chalk marker. That would give you a very similar effect if you are a doodler. But alas, I am not a doodler. I am a stamper, not a drawer. Okay. Pink card base. Now pink splattered card base. I think we said it was Melon Mambo. Do correct me if I am incorrect on that. Uh, no problems, Linda. Happy to tell you my schedule. But all my videos uh, will always end up here on YouTube, uh, whether they be my live versions or my Facebook. So if you subscribe here, you will just miss out on the live portion and the chat. It's the chat you miss out on um, live and often, not with this kind of kit video, but often you guys will be asked for design choices in my um, videos. Okay. I am a bit of a three girl when it comes to circles. I just find they're a bit more balanced if you pop three on. Okay. I am finding just using the um, paper piercing end of my take your pick tool a lot easier to get off the backings okay just a note of hope and what colors are we using we're using the poppy or the pink bermuda bay do you know we must be using the pink. It looks a little bit more Bermuda here, but that's okay. So you just pop those out and they come out super easily. And we don't want to put like colours together. So the way they have designed it is to put the yellow on the bottom. And I kind of like it overlapping the sentiment there. And it does slightly overlap here. Just gives the sentiment a bit of interest. And just fluffing my wings again. And this is kind of funny. One of my stepdaughter's best friends, it's her birthday today, and she loves butterflies. So these cards are making me think of Sam. So, 
do hope she's having a lovely day. Uh, despite the weather being a bit ho-hum, I think her family will be spoiling her rotten. And I am sliding this around quite badly. Just hold it. And then we'll put the pink one up here. Scatter. I think they've, they've used four. I have an issue using four gems. Must be odd. But then four and three is seven. So that's an odd number. But we'll add the sequins and then we'll um, go from there. This one does go a bit further away and they're all in slightly different directions okay i am going to try and use this this time for our sequence just to make it a little little easier okay one here on the right kind of want to put two here and then we want to go one i kind of want on the very edge just because that works really really well then just one under here then I'll just put one around our Bermuda Bay butterfly do you know what oh, I'll just sneak it slightly under here so I've accentuated the white space I've put something over the edges I've put one going off and I've tucked one under. It just adds a little interest. So that is our second card. Nice and simple. Now on to our final card. Final card is just gorgeous. So we need the printed, the printed card base. So we need the hope die cut oh. okay so we need the hope die cut i will need these i will need one of the beautifully printed bases and i will need one of these and i think i need these base I'll need some of these butterflies as well. So just these ones up here. Or do I? Because, hmm, no, I just need the purple ones. That's fine. This one, as I thought, is for the, um, the base piece for the card. Okay, I do need that. These can go in there right that can go over there I think we're right to rock no because I put something away I actually need it I need one of these and what did I do with the card base I got rid of the card base as well right card base because I did put it and then I picked it up again Okay, so let's fold the card base. Ah, bone folder. Okay, we're not doing badly for time, really. Uh, so we have this piece and I just want to get it down. So we've got lots of pieces here where we can adhere. So I'm just going to very carefully take this piece off. So, uh, glue dots, I'm going to use my glue dots just because I have issues taking the backings off the other one. There's nothing wrong with them. I just have issues. 
The wee one is doing wonderfully, despite the fact that my stepdaughter put photos up on Facebook of him crying with all of us yesterday. He was wonderful. He is, a, I was comparing, you know, you shouldn't compare babies, but I was comparing him to my two. And my two were little guzzlers when they fed and then proceeded to vomit a lot of it up. This little wee man, he is a little champion. He doesn't chuck up a lot. He's just slow and steady with his feeding. He, you know, he did a bit of a punami, but you know, that's what that's what that's what babies do. Um, yeah, it will be lovely. Like, you know, they're so gorgeous when they're little, but they're just less interactive. So It'll be lovely when he can giggle and do all those things and interact with us more. But I love this stage. He's all snuggly and cuddly and, yeah, I love it. So we want this little butterfly up the top. And you can see all this lines up with uh, pieces here. So we kind of... Just want to line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just looking to see how it does line up. So everything gets their spotlight from the card background. And that is a beautiful card by itself. So now I am going to stamp uh, where there is, there is faith. Um, even though the running writing's a bit odd and the stamp set I can feel has adhered nicely to this. Okay. Da -da -da -da. One. And two. Run my fingers across that. I want to do a bit of um, a bit of stamping off here. Lovely. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Sorry if you saw my hair there. That worked wonderfully. I love having grandson because I didn't have to change a nappy at all. Um, I just, yeah, didn't have to change one at all. It was wonderful. Although it's one thing I realised I wouldn't be so good at doing these days. There are a lot of things that I'm there going, I physically can't help you with that anymore. It's amazing how um, things progress over. 16 years I look back and I go how did I do it with my children I don't quite understand how I did it but oh my god they're perfect love that love that love that but hey I just need to be grandmother now and that's fine with me now all these stamps are clean and these are all the other stamps that we haven't even used so they're giving you heaps of other stamps that you can create your own these style cards um, to use with your own projects and your own creativity um, I may come back and do some alternative projects I may not I'm not going to promise but yes okay so let's have a look at what we're gluing all these things with look at the instructions so hope dimensionals all the word strips on dimensionals and the one butterfly is just with a glue dot or glue so flip these over 
I think I might need minis for these ones. I'm not sure. We shall see. So I definitely want three for this one. I don't want saggy middles. So they've given us heaps more dimensionals than what we need as well, which is always a bit nice to get a bit of a bonus. Wow, didn't want three. Yeah, they just, they just fit. Look, at least they're up there for thinking that they just fit. But it's stuck to my hand for some reason. So just, 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 just wide enough. They, they don't show through. That's good. Okay. But I just can't do my haphazardness that I normally do. Done. I just need one butterfly and I'll just pop him over there for safekeeping pop that away I love that I can put everything back in a box that makes me so very very happy bring this back just so we can have a look at placement and I'll pop it back here so I can use my little rubbish bin and yes, we do also, of course, have some sequins on this as well. So hope in the middle. Oh, might like it roughly straight. And then where there is, oh, it doesn't matter which one, which order I put them in, just do them. I'm probably putting them a little bit further away than what they're saying but it's still all readable and works really really well okay and a titch of glue just on the edge here and I think that will be perfect for our butterfly. And that's our last card done. How awesome is that? Oh, that is perfect. I've just got to hold that there for a second. Uh, maybe just a titch of a second more. Sorry, guys. That is our cards done. Hey, Ross. I know. I know. It's a bit of a surprise. What show were you watching, Ross? Okay. Done. I haven't been watching much TV or TV shows, Netflix, anything like that. And then, of course, you've got your instructions there just because I've been on a Zoom with a lot of friends of mine, which I will hopefully get back to after this. Okay, so I've got all these that can go back in the box. Just clearing a bit of space to show you what... Oh, no! I didn't put sequins on this. Come back. Come back, sequins. Let me open it back up. Although, seriously, this one... And I'll just drop them on the floor. This one seriously doesn't need sequins, but hey, if we've got bling and we're given bling, let's use bling, right? Okay, so we're putting them in these parts. So let's just see how it looks. So one there. So it's just guiding your eye 
through the card and I'm going to do my little tuck again so it's there but it is um, tucked and then I'm going to put one up here so then they're a pair and I may just slip one in here in between so then we've got five so five there oh sorry I'll just pop these to the side so that is their our where there is hope there is faith card we've got our just a note of hope card and we've got always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring card and that is our hoop box paper pumpkin kit as described um, as described in the destructions that we did follow this time but you know we might not follow them next time you never know okay and i also let me throw this stamp set to the side and i also did an unboxing and particularly showed you the new stamp and blends that will be coming out to customers on the 2nd of february uh, these are in the all together bundle which has a whole lot of hands and skin and die cuts and beautiful black and white paper Oh, which one? What did I miss? Ah, Boba Fett. I don't know if my kids have watched that. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you're going to get the Paper Pumpkin Carol. Oh, off to eat. Okay, you have a good week too, Cindy. Sorry, honey. I was just finishing up. Yes, you need to show support. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yours is coming on Wednesday. Awesome. For some reason, I couldn't scroll up. Um, I don't think I have missed anyone. So thank you so much for enjoying. There were a few more products than just these in my unboxing. So if you want to have a look, go back. I've got some ribbons, some embossing folders, an ephemera pack, all of those fun things so i all god willing and all being well will be back on facebook on tuesday for my normal tuesday live so if you don't already follow me on facebook all the details are in the description box below um, and make sure you follow and you can find me over there so have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will catch you then. Bye!